don't use Upwork to make money as a freelance video editor. There are a hundred plus reasons why you should not use that website. And I'm going to tell you the biggest ones. To the unbeknownst, Upwork is basically a job posting website, but they want to control every single part of you and the money that you make. It starts with them being misleading and hiding information about tons of things. Going to the main Upwork landing page for work, you go down and you see the talent marketplace and it explains the system to you. So number one, you create a profile on Upwork. Number two, you search for jobs. Everything is A-OK -okay there. But number three, submit a proposal. This is where stuff gets misleading because nowhere in here is it saying that you have to pay money to submit job proposals. It says set your rate and tell clients why you're the right person for the job, except that is not how it works. In order to submit a proposal, you have to buy Upwork's currency, which is called Connects. Connects are 15 cents each, and you have to spend Connects in order to submit a proposal. It's completely normal for good job postings to cost 16 Connects. 15 cents times 16 is $2.40. How many jobs have you applied to or you have to pay money for the client to even see it? But wait, seeing it is not guaranteed. After you submit a job proposal, you can go into your profile under my proposals and look at all the proposals you sent. And the ones that are actually viewed by clients have a little eyeball on them. You spend money to send the job proposal, but then clients don't even see it. You think Upwork refunds you? No, they don't. They keep your money. What's that word that starts with an S, ends with an M, where you pay for a service and you don't actually get that service? Hmm. That's only one layer to the BS. Upwork actually suggests for you to increase the amount of connects in order to boost your profile. And the way they frame this is as bidding. So let's say a job proposal, it costs 16 connects, but then you scroll down and you see people have bid 30, 40, 50, 60 connects in order for their profile to appear on the top. So there could be 100 people submitting for that work and you didn't spend 30, 40, 50, 60, can I say 10, 20, 30 dollars in order for your profile to be seen, no one's gonna even look at it. So what's showing on the website now is misleading. That's not how it works. Let's say you beat out the 30, 40, 50, 100 people who submitted a job proposal. Now it's time for Upwork to take their cut. Upwork makes money by charging fees to the freelancers and to clients, they double dip. So with freelancers, they take 10% off of any money that you earn. Let's say you earn $1,000, they're gonna take 10%, which is 100 bucks, so you get $900. But then they also charge a fee to clients, which is 5%. I'm just very allergic to fees and I don't like how they take money from the freelancers, first of all. But then they also take money from the freelancers and the clients. No other place in the world are they taking money from the people who work. The people who work are getting the money. It's usually the client that has to pay the freelancer. But Upwork is like, no, we're taking percentage from the freelancer and the client. Let's talk about an even bigger problem. The entire premise of Upwork for clients is that freelancers cannot be trusted. They want you to use their service because they have stuff like payment protection. They have reviews. They have things to safeguard you not getting ripped off or scammed. But think about it. If you can't even trust someone to do work and you need a secondary platform to work with you, it's kind of like, why the heck do you distrust people so much? They're constantly selling the idea that they have reporting and time tracking and they'll protect you and they'll protect your money. But when you work with a freelancer, if they don't do the work, you don't pay them. I don't know what the big deal is. Why do you need such a big platform in order to do all this, to build this idea that you can't trust hiring freelancers unless you use Upwork? That's their ultimate goal. You need this service, otherwise you may get ripped off. The distrust doesn't end there. Let's say you have a contract with a client and you wanna start working for them. You go into the proposal and then you have to click this thing that's deceptively named Open Time Tracker. When you click on this, it installs spyware on your computer where it's gonna take six screenshots every hour of your computer screen. Those screenshots are saved by Upwork and they're sent to the client. Why? To prove that you're actually doing the work. They tell clients to use it in order to get payment protection. You can opt out of it by logging time manually on Upwork, but Upwork pushes 
clients use this service because if you don't, then you don't get payment protection for work done. What a platform to have where it's just like, we're not even gonna trust people. We have to take screenshots of you actually doing the work and logging the time, the actual amount of time that you spent to do the work. It's disgusting. I've never used it. I never will. And it's spyware. Speaking about how long it takes for you to get work done, Upwork logs time down to 10 minute increments. So you may have an hourly rate, but it logs you spending 10 or 15 minutes or 20 minutes on it. They're only gonna bill you for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. That's outrageous, okay? It's not as simple as just doing the work and it screenshots you. There's a lot of other things, especially for video editing that takes a lot of time, like rendering, like sending the files, organization, creating proxies. The industry standard is hourly. So why does Upwork go down to 10 minute increments? It's bizarre. And to add to that, Working hourly at all is awful. It penalizes you for working efficiently and being really good at video editing. Let's say there's some video editors that take six hours, seven hours to do a video edit. You can do it in four hours, but because you're faster and you're using Upwork system, you make less money. It doesn't make any sense. And I always tell freelancers and other video editors do not charge hourly. And this entire website is based off of hourly working down, not even hourly, 10 minute increments. One of the main selling points about Upwork is you can find people to do work for you for rock bottom prices. It is called race to the bottom where you have a certain amount that you charge, but then 10 other people come in and say, I can do the same thing for cheaper. So then that makes you want to reduce your rates. You're racing down to the bottom of who can get the work for the cheapest amount of money. And you may be saying to yourself, I'm worth this much. I'm worth that much. I'm only going to charge this much hourly and I'm not going down lower than that. Well, if you're on Upwork and there's a hundred proposals and your proposal is, for example, let's say you want to charge 80 an hour, you charge 80 an hour, but then you have 40 people who are going to charge 20 an hour to do the same exact job. Their cost of living is lower, whether they're in another part of the United States or maybe they're in another country, they can charge way less than you and do the same type of work. Maybe the quality will be the same, but because they live in another country, they have lower cost of living. They don't need to charge so much. And when a client sees this, of course it ropes them down. They're like, oh, I can take this one person who seems amazing and super high quality, but then there's 40 people who can do the same thing for $20 an hour. It's incredibly difficult to choose the person who is a higher rate. And Upwork just puts that all right in front of the clients. It forces you to charge lower rates, which hurts you as a business. Speaking of businesses, they're all about freelancers and freelancers getting the work and freelancers making a living. But at the same time, they allow agencies on the website. Yes, Upwork allows agencies to be on there and to be able to submit proposals right next to other freelancers. They sell you on this dream and this idea, but they have no problem having agencies on there, which is a direct contradiction to freelancers making their own living. Let's say you do five, 10 projects with somebody on Upwork. It's going wonderful. You ask yourself, why should I continue giving Upwork 10% and the client 5% just to work together with that client. You can just get off of Upwork so you stop giving them 10% every single time you do work. But ah, there's a catch. You see, you cannot do that. It is against Upwork's terms of service. You can get your account banned, you and the client banned if you talked about going off platform. But don't worry, don't worry. There is a way you can go off platform off of Upwork by paying them a fee, you have to pay up with what they call a conversion fee. And you're going to laugh when you hear this. John charges his client, Ashley, either $20 an hour or $30 an hour, depending on what type of work he's doing. Ashley wants to hire John full time and they wish to take their work outside Upwork. Upwork will calculate John's annual earnings using $30 per hour, the higher rate, and then charge 13.5% of that number as a conversion fee. And then you get to the part where it says they're going to charge 2,080 hours, which is 52 weeks by 40 hours. So for this example, they're going to take that hourly rate, $30 an hour. They're going to multiply it by 2080. It's going to equal to $62,400. That's where they're going to take the 13.5% fee. So 13.5% of 62,400 is $8,424. This is their conversion fee. You want to go off of Upwork? You have to pay them 
$8,424 if you are charging $30 an hour. And it only goes up from there. $8,424. Hey, you know what's better than paying that conversion fee? Just stop talking on Upwork. Get the email for the freelancer or the client and email them directly. Hey, let's stop working on Upwork. How, how's Upwork going to know? The communication just stops and the proposal closes. Why would anybody? I want to know who actually paid this. And number one, number two, it is so incredibly scummy that they would charge this much to get your work off of Upwork without breaking their terms of service. Yeah, my booty. Let's say you don't want to do the whole bidding thing. You don't want to bid against other people. You can eliminate all the pain for the connects and stuff. Nope, you can't. Because even if you make a profile on Upwork, you're not going to be found. In order for you to be seen on Upwork and for you to pop up in search results, you actually have to pay to boost your profile. You have to click on the, again, misleading title availability badge. You click on that and in order for you to be seen as available for you to show up in search results, you have to pay them a certain amount of connects per week. How much connects? It depends on how much you want to be seen. You want to pay seven connects per week? No one's going to find you. You want to put 50 connects? Okay, that's better. You want to put 300 connects a week? Then you're actually going to be seen. And when there are thousands, tens of thousands of profiles on this web page, how is anyone actually going to see you? You pay for these connects. There's no guarantee anyone's going to click on you or want to hire you at all. But Upwork is going to take the money They'll take the money. There's no guarantee. Speaking of misleading stuff, they lure you into their website by not showing you the actual real posts on their website until you make a profile. They are deceptively hiding the scammy, extremely low paying job postings when you search on their website before you make a profile. So let me show you an example. I'm on the Upwork website. I'm going to go up here to search. I'm going to click over here, jobs. I'm going to put video editor, click search, and you get some options up here. Oh, look at this estimated budget, $20. Oh, motion graphics. Oh, this one, 25 to $50. Oh, $30 to $60, 30 to 50, 70 to 150. You're saying to yourself, oh, look, there's some good options here. And you have here at the top, by the way, sort by newest. Okay. This is without an account. Now let's do the same thing with an account. I'm gonna go here, click on jobs. I'm gonna search video editor, okay? And again, here it's sorted by newest. Now we have here video editor lifestyle, $5 an hour. This here is sorted by newest. TikTok editor estimated by the toy. Why is that showing by the newest? Why is that showing, huh? Need editor Adobe, $10. Podcast editing, $35. Edit 16 podcast video, 20 to 50. Video editor for TikTok, $5 to $30. Let's look at this. Most graphics editor for brand video. Social media video need to create Instagram reels. Podcast editor needed video editor for social media. Look, where are these jobs? Where are these jobs? I'm looking at this page right here. Where are these jobs that are over there when you don't have an account? Upwork, what they're doing to be misleading is they're going through and filtering, choosing the best jobs to show when you don't have an account. So it tempts you. It's misleading. You see the posts and you're like, oh, look at these job posts. So then you make an account and then you actually see the real shit that's happening. Both of them sorted by newest and they're not showing the same exact results. Extremely, extremely fishy. Upwork keeps you from building your own brand and actually thriving. I understand the temptation. It's so easy to make a profile, throw a couple of dollars here and there and get jobs or contracts. But what ends up happening is that you become an Upwork video editor. You're not known as a video editor. Nobody knows your name. All of the glory goes to Upwork. You are seen as a number. You're not seen as an actual artist, as an actual person who makes incredible stuff, the amazing video editor that you are. You're reduced down to a number, to a person who's just on Upwork. It keeps you from building your brand. It keeps you from reaching out and connecting with other video editors, and it keeps you from getting jobs that are amazing. The sad truth about all of this is that Upwork is well known. They take the money from feeing you and the client for every single job that you do, and they use that money to advertise. They are all over the internet. I see ads for them all the time. And now it has become a normal thing where if a YouTuber needs a video editor, they go to Upwork first. I have seen famous YouTubers make job posts on Upwork, including Legal Eagle, 
Zhao Ma, and Upflip to name a few. It's heartbreaking, but I can understand the client's viewpoint. You have to have empathy with these kinds of things. It's a fast marketplace where they can get someone quick to work on their stuff, and that's what's going on through their head. But then when you actually research this company, see how misleading they are, the spyware, they're charging people so much exorbitant amounts of money, even just to submit job proposals, they're taking fees left and right, and they're being misleading on their websites. It's ridiculous. I do not recommend any freelance video editor to ever use Upwork. I used it, I got one job, and then I researched more about it, and I realized how messed up this website is, and then I completely took it off my radar. I see so many video editors online be like, join Upwork, join Fiverr, join Upwork, join Fiverr. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But what can you do instead of Upwork? I'm so glad you asked. And I'm going to be making videos on this very subject. What can you do in order to get clients? What services and platforms to actually use where they're not going to fee you up the rectum every time just to run your business and how you can actually make a sustainable living not using websites like Upwork. If you want to see videos like that, make sure you are subscribed because I am going to be giving away 100% of everything I know. I want you all to have amazing, beautiful lives and being on Upwork is not going to make that happen. What do you think about Upwork? Have you used it? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of my thoughts and let's have a discussion. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day.